Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss about another topic from vector algebra, linear algebra, which is subspace. What do you mean by subspace? I am hoping that you have already watched the video which I made on vector spaces so as to get a better clarity. So, when you talk about the subspace, we are assuming that we know about the idea of vector space. For example, let's say V is a vector space. Okay. So, that means it is following all those properties which we discussed in our last video. Now, if another set W wants to be a subspace of this vector space, then this W should follow some of the characteristics. What are they? First of all, because it is vector space and you want to prove W as a subspace, so it should be a subset of V. Okay? That means if V is having some elements, then W should have some of the elements of V. W should made up of the elements of V. Okay? I'm hoping this color is visible. So, that means first step is to prove that W is a uh, subset of V. Right? Then, second property would be, let's see. Second property would be that there should be a zero vector in W. Zero vector of V should be in W. That means, what is zero vector? Let's say V1 is an element of V. That means V1 is present in V. Now, if you add V1, anything is added and you get the same element, then this is a zero vector. Right? So that element should be present in W. That means which needs to be proved as subspace. Then another property is if you have any vectors, for example, let's say V1 and V2 are present in W. V1 and V2. So they should follow the property, closure property. That means addition and multiplication. If you are multiplying them with any scalar, then those will follow, those will result into some of the elements, type of the elements of W. For example, let's say W is a set of natural numbers. Okay. So, V1 and V2 are natural numbers. So, if you add them, the result should also be, let's say X is the result. That result should also be a natural number. Similarly, if you multiply them with some, um, let's say, scalar, then the result should also belong to the natural number. So, we can say that addition and multiplication follows closure property. Right? Uh, if you are finding it very theoretical. So, let's take up another example to prove and you can expect these questions in your examination as well. The question is asking for that why it is so that a set W of the form x0 where x is a real number is a subspace of R square. Okay? So, you have to prove I mean, it is already stated that this is a subspace. W is a subspace of this type. Why it is a subspace? So, all those properties need to be fulfilled. First of all, W should be a subset. Subset of R square. Right? And how you can prove a subset? See, this W is of the form X0. And X is made up of, X belongs to, Real numbers. So, that means W should also have all the elements from real numbers. So, if you talk about X, Y, for example, any element in W, you can see if X and Y belongs to R because 
W has elements and X belongs to R. And it is of the form X, 0. So these are also belonging to R. That means, yes, it is a subs subset. Second property would be a zero vector. So let's say X is 0. And of X, 0 form, 0, 0 is a zero vector. If X, which is a real number, if you assume it as 0, then the form will become 0, 0. And it is a zero vector. So that property is also satisfied. Then another property is closure property, right? Addition and subtraction. subtraction. Sorry, addition and multiplication. So now if you take two, two of these forms and add them, let's say x1, 0, x2, 0, okay? And now if you add them, you will get x1 plus x2, 0. And this is closed under addition. Right? Why it is closed? See, you are getting x1 plus x2, but x1 and x2 assumed that these are real numbers. These belong to real numbers. Addition is also a real number, comma 0. It is closed. And then when you do the multiplication part, it is also rx, comma 0. Any scalar when multiplied with this form, which is given in the question, it is also forming rx, comma 0, which is closed. Why it is closed? Because it is also of the form of some x, 0. Because these are real numbers. So that means it is following all of the properties. So set W is a subspace. Let's take up another example. This question is stating that there is a set W of the form x, y where x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. And we have given that it is not a subspace. That means it is not following all those properties which we just discussed. So it is asking for the reason why it is not a subspace. So we just need to prove any of the property as false. Okay. That it is not uh, satisfying those properties. So that's why it is not a subspace. So let's see. You are seeing that W is formed of X, Y, Right? And x and y belong to r square. That means x belongs to r and y belongs to r. Right? But the condition is x and y both are greater than or equal to 0. So I am assuming any of the case. For example, um, let's say 1, comma 2. Here 1 also belongs to real numbers. And it is also greater than or equal to 0. And y which is 2 here is also greater than or equal to 0. Right? So satisfying both of the properties. Now, I am checking one of the property. Uh, we have read that okay to be a subspace. We have to prove that it should be a closure under multiplication. Right? So, we can assume any of the scalar. Correct? Any of the scalar which should be from here, R, the real number, right? So, I am assuming that there is minus 1, a scalar, which is obviously a real number. Then I multiply it. It is minus 1 and minus 2. And these two obviously are real numbers, but they are not following this property. These are not greater than 0. So, that means this result does not belong to W. And if it is not belonging to this uh, W, so that means it is not closure. If any of the conditions are not satisfied, that means the vector, the set is not a subspace. I'm hoping that it is clear to you. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.